Ciao, we're 20 minutes to go, we're staring at the barrel of uh, another 1-0 defeat at home. Uh, obviously the lads came really through for each other in the last 20 minutes, you must be delighted with uh, the outcome. Yeah, I thought we deserved to win. I didn't think we... not well, I know we didn't deserve to be behind. Um, first half I thought we, we played well. Um, without, I suppose without missing any glaring opportunities or creating opportunities. We had some, obviously some shots from distance there, keepers made some saves, some saves that you probably expect him to expect him to make, but we've we've worked him and looked comfortable ourselves in in my opinion. Um and second half I think it's potentially the only real opportunity they've they've had. Um we've not won a tackle down this near side, they've put the ball in our box and um it's broken to them and they and they finished it. Um but we spoke at half time the pleasing thing was that we kept doing um what we thought would get us joy, um, and thankfully and deservedly so, in the last 20 minutes it did get us did get us the joy because we more than merited um, three points in winning that game today. Uh, before the goal, obviously, uh, there wasn't too many chances despite us being uh, just on top. Was there a message even after the goal just to keep calm and patient and wait for the chance to come as the team's time? It's difficult to get a message on when you when you um, when you go behind, I suppose, from the side. The, the, I suppose the clearer message you get is making making substitutions. We made some attacking substitutions. We had some real um, real firepower on the bench. Um, so we thought that towards the end of the game it may potentially open up. The way they play um, is physically really demanding on their players as well because they they play man to man and they ask um, ask their lads to to follow people around. Now if your movement's good. That's hard to do for 90 minutes, um, and thankfully, like, to, like I say, towards towards the end of the game, not just w w when we equalised. Um, before that, the game gradually started to open up. We we made a few t tactical changes, brought Rowley into a wider area, and put put Jam Jam Muldoon central, um, and had some some decent rotation in there. And, and, and like I say, thankfully, got what they deserve because like I say, there's been. I don't suppose questions asked, if you like, um, over the over the past couple of games, but that was back to back to us. We were, I thought, we were brave in possession. We got the ball from the, from the back. We, we took calculated risks, if you like. We backed ourselves to be able to to play out. Did it well at times. Our decision making could have been could have been a little bit better, but in the main, like I say, really, really pleased with um, with a massive three points for us and puts us back where we want to be. As you mentioned, there's a lot of firepower on the bench. Uh, a couple of players that came on, uh, Tasnamir and Hardy, both scored uh, young lads. They must uh, give them a lot of confidence going forward in their careers. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it, when you bring them on and they score. It's great as if, if, if only it happened like that all the time. Um, but no, especially today, I thought, because of, because of how they play, Movement would cause them problems. Now, um, I suppose you can ask the question or both question: well, Why didn't you start with them? I think when they're at the start of the game, when they're physically at their peak, if you like, um, it would have been difficult to. I played down there, um, and the left back got close to him, and he's physically a really, really strong, strong athlete, and he couldn't get couldn't get away from him. I think later on when. All of a sudden, there's a, an hour in in their legs. Um, it should should open up for the likes of James and Tugs and um, and those type of players. Henry, if you like, Johnny. We've got all, we've got lots of players that are can cause problems um, with the movement. Um, but like I say, for them to to come on and, and get the goals, Tugs will be I suppose a little bit disappointed. He hasn't got a second with it in the post, and James being able to put it in. But um, they've they've hopefully got big big futures. Um, I know both them, first and foremost, want to try and get the, the, themselves into the, the starting eleven here. Um, but ultimately it's about them learning and them developing and, and, and us being successful along the way with it. Uh, Andy Bond filled in at right back today and said the usual starter, Luke Burke. Is Luke OK? Yeah, fine. Um, we've, we've, a, we've a strong squad. You've got to pick, um, pick players, um, I, I suppose a little bit based on based on form and potentially what your bike might give you. You have to have a little look at other teams. Obviously Jace has come in today, we've gone a little bit more a little bit more solid early on. Um, you have to match their physical physical threats and physical attributes they have. Um, because they're a they're a big side. Every player in their team is over six foot. Um, which 
is a big demand, and especially when they've 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 got some some quality and they, they put the ball in, they put long throws in, they put corners in. Ultimately, you've got to deal with those things. Um, we again thought we could deal with it by us being in control of the ball and having to play out from the back and ask them questions. I thought we did that did that really well. So, listen, we'll pick we'll pick teams that we think can can go out and win a, any game on a, on a on a given day, um, and there'll be. I said there'll be rotations, there'll be people switched around, ultimately asking to go out there and give everything they've got. Um, and when they're called upon, um, go and do the best, and they, and they do that for each other really, really well. And next week, make a really long trip to uh, Torquay United, a team that are fighting for their survival in this division. Uh, it's been another intriguing game, also the last uh, 10 games now to finish in the playoffs. Yeah, um, I, I like the away trips. Like I say, I think it's it's good for lads to get together. We'll go down, obviously, on the, on the Friday. Um, I don't have fond memories of Torquay, if I'm honest, last time I went there I was horrifically sick on the way home and it's not a great uh, journey back when um, you've, been, you've been sick, I can promise you that. So um, hopefully next Saturday we'll end in, um, in better spirits and we can have a, a, a few beers on the way back rather than me being sat, sat in the toilet.